of August 2016 and we're going on a walk on the, up to the Dorsetshire Gap which is up there somewhere a bit of dung spreading going on can't beat a bit of dung spreading car parked up there um, this is the way down from the Buckland Newton Way and there used to be a sign here done the video before and now doing it again probably be worse the second time round so this is our route nice and dry isn't it mud last time wasn't it? it was. What are we going to find? Who knows? Look Viv, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> what's, that, what's that joke? Um, who's turned the light, the, the last one out, turn off the light at the end of the tunnel? Yeah. Or something like that isn't it? So we're on the Dorsetshire Gap, but we don't, I don't exactly know where I am in relation to home. So I'm going to zoom into those houses over there, with the wind in the microphone, making horrible noises. Probably. And then... What, it's a toilet? So, uh, as I've said before, the, you come across this field, so you, really the only way of knowing it's the right way is because of the, oh yeah, because of the uh, trodden path. Just a strength. Yeah, yeah. So we've ascertained that that uh, building, those buildings, group buildings was Anstey. And just noticed the Isle of Wight over there. Um, don't know how well I'm going to pick it up. Into the dark wood. Now we've been talking about how we use the path is and the notice the the gate um, bit here is quite well used so what do you think? Ten a day? <laughs> Probably. Maybe more if you get horses. That's shit all right, is it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, a... I think we go this way. I think we go this way. This is Hobbit country. We're there at the Gap. On the way up, we've passed county council men clearing the land, clearing the paths. But they obviously haven't got up this far, have they? A lot of stinging nettles and things. I've been, I've been trying to work out how what ancient travellers would have been eating. And I wondered whether they might be travelling with, with animals, like a milking goat, that could just eat grass on the way. And then, when you needed a bit of sustenance, you could get a little bit of milk. So we've gone to, must be at the five paths again. That one doesn't look too badly down, uh, badly uh, overgrown. And that's the one we've come down. And that's the one we haven't come up. And then there's another one there. We are the second people today to look at the book. But not everybody might do it. Ah. And there was three groups of people yesterday. Oh, and look, the book. It's got the... Three the, groups on Monday. A, a, a thing on it. Three on Sunday, yeah. The plaque. That's new, that. Yeah, look, there's a East Dorset Ramblers have done it, I think. They've got a postcard in there. Ah. 
Join us. It says join yeah, us. Join us. East Rambler East Dorset Group. Oh, that might do it. The Ramblers East Dorset Group. Oh, we're West Dorset though. But never mind. We are. There are six Rambler groups. In Dorset. Hmm. So we've got to see where the old book's in the other box. Yeah, should, we, should I sign the book? Oh yeah, I've definitely signed the book. So this is Higher Malcolm down there, that farm, and to me it looks like an old abbey farm. And I think we're going to walk through it tomorrow and be a bit nosy. But it looks a beautiful set of buildings. And it's unspoilt, isn't it? There's no um, modern Dutch barns or anything like that in it. Yeah. So it might be a millionaire's paradise down there. You know, might not be farming, there might be... Somebody obviously farms around about because there's bales and that. Yeah. Like silage things. Unusual that they haven't built any barns though, isn't it? Not unless in some way it's grade one listed. It is a church. It is a church. It is a church. Which is obviously grade one listed. I reckon it all might be. It's got amazing scenery. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey. Pack horse. That's cheating having a horse. This is amazing. He's our pack pony. I can see. Are you doing the whole ridge with? Well, we're supposed to have done 20 miles, but... Um, I know. We 20 miles lost. today? We sort of got lost. Oh. YOLO! So that's the medieval trackway up to the Dorsetshire Gap round there. And, uh Slightly different way back, which is exciting. And lovely grass meadow, nice smooth grass. And just noticed some conifers in this wood and wondering whether it's for leftover from sort of the 1960s when they conifers were encouraged to be grown, on, especially on uh, hillsides and places. I think it was basically for newspaper production and pit props perhaps, but um, I think now they might be used for chipboard or anything, or biomass or anything, but uh, they don't look quite right. They won't be there for many, many years, I don't think. Let's go back to the deciduous trees. Well, we've, we've got lost as per as usual, but it looks like the path comes up under that tree uh, we come across that field. No, never mind, it was a nice, nice walk. Not too badly lost. And a way welcome thing. Gates with openings. And um, footpath signs on, on it. Ah! Got stung. Bramble. Right, so that's so that. That was when you get to this gate. That's that gate shut. And then... The blue means the blue means horse, doesn't it? This is where paths take us. We might as well follow it, shall we? Uh, well, there's no other sign, is there? No. Except going back down. I think. Well, I think on the thing where we go up. So. I think yeah. Up. Yeah. Now we've just come back down this way um, at the entrance of Springwood Farm and this track has been changed recently and the footpath goes diagonally across this field up to the gap in the hedge. There. And then it goes diagonally the other way across up here I think 
to go around the back of that wood. So it's quite confusing, but maybe if I do it again shortly, I'll get it into the psyche.